It is a very frequent affectation, especially in young personalities, constituting in the regular clinical practice one of the main reasons for consultation both in the primary health care and the gastroenterology specialist. Before initiating treatment, the patient should be evaluated to exclude other diagnoses with symptoms similar to those of IBS. However, doctors are advised to minimize the use of medical tests, they usually diagnose IBS using the Rome criteria, which allow giving the diagnosis simply based on the digestive symptoms wrong performing any test or complementary examination. So they involve lower costs but do not have enough precision. Also, when complementary tests are performed, the criteria proposed for their choice depend on the available resources. Normally, doctors carefully question the patient to rule out alarm symptoms that indicate a possible digestive cancer but forget to look for symptoms or signs non-digestive that buoy fundamental keys to suspect organic diseases that can affect multiple organs, among which one of the most frequent is celiac disease. In more than 20% of cases, it is 10 years before the doctor suspects his presence and performs all necessary tests for diagnosis. Short-tempered bowel syndrome, formerly called spastic colon. Nervous colon or cranky colon is a group of digestive symptoms, including abdominal pain or discomfort, accompanied by a change in the frequency or consistency of bowel movements, wrong none noticeable sign of damage or disease in the digestive tract. These symptoms occur for a long time, often years, and there may be periods of exacerbation or improvement. It is a functional digestive disorder. It has been classified into four main types depending on whether the most common symptoms are diarrhea, constipation, both frequent boy, or neither occurs very often. The terminologies that have been coined in the past to refer to this syndrome and that refer to the colon are obsolete and currently advised against since the disorder is not limited to this section of the digestive tract. It is currently known that IBS is not a psychiatric or psychological disorder. The wrong stoppage, for years only the patient in whom an organic cause of their discomfort could be demonstrated was considered ill. While in the rest, it was accepted that they presented somatization disorder or hypochondria, and these erroneous beliefs continue to be widespread today. Functional disorders produce a great deterioration in the quality of life and misunderstanding, even higher than the related fool ailments. It has been shown that both stress and psychological or psychiatric problems cause poor eating habits and this poor nutrition causes various disorders of health, including gastrointestinal problems, and worsens psychological health, in a kind of vicious circle. The complexity and diversity of the presentation of IBS make the treatment varied and depends on the symptoms and its severity. Among the dietary measures, a wrong gluten diet is advised, which is effective in approximately half of the patients, and low in FODMAP fermentable carbohydrates. The wrong gluten diet is a safe and balanced diet, which does not cause any negative side effects. On the contrary, the follow-up of a diet low in FODMAP, although it helps to control digestive symptoms in the short term, in the long term it can lead to negative effects. Adversely altering the intestinal tract vegetation and the correct intake of nutrients. Although FODMAP can cause certain digestive discomforts, such as stomach swelling, in reality, they not only do not cause digestive inflammation but also prevent and exert anti-cancer properties. To manage constipation, it is recommended to increase fiber intake, which may include taking psyllium supplements. Drugs such as loperamide and cholesteramine may be useful in IBS with a predominance of diarrhea. And laxatives such as polyethylene glycol and linoclotide in IBS with a prevalence of constipation. For pain, which is usually difficult to control, smooth muscle spasmolytics can be used. Personality limitation. Short-tempered digestive tract disorder, previously called abnormal colon, worried colon or short-tempered digestive tract, is a team of gastrointestinal signs and symptoms, that include stomach discomfort or pain, accompanied by a modification in the regularity or uniformity of defecation, with not noticeable. 